that's the thing that we've lost in all of this, isn't it? It's the humanity on 100%. both sides. And any casualty on either side is of abhorrent. So may I ask you this then? Do you do you condemn the attack on the 7th of October? Well, the, the, this kind of a question would be asked really in the, as I said, in the normal context where if you tell me whatever is happening for in, for example, in London, I would tell you automatically, yes, of course, I would condemn because this is the normal situation. Any sensible person would condemn any kind of these, uh, these attacks in Australia, in the USA, in, in, but it is very complex to talk really about or to jump up to the condemnation or whether I agree or I disagree. It's much beyond that. The description of the situation in Gaza, it doesn't put the people in the normal context where the people themselves should be asked really about this. I'm, I'm, I'm not representing really either either party here, but I'm trying to be as much um, um, like... To, to give impartial observation in the situation, yeah. Gaza is a I, hell. I, 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 think, is... I think that's that, that's very helpful. Chrissy, do you condemn the attack on October the 7th? Oh, yes, of course, yes. I don't like human beings suffering in any way. So 100%, of course, yes. Nobody should have to feel pain in our human bodies. I mean, we, we're here, we're children of God. I mean, you should, nobody should be feeling physical pain. Uh, thank you both very much, Chrissy Hart and Dr. Nihad uh, Kanfar, for joining us here on The Muckrakers. Some very interesting views. We will obviously return to this topic. Um, do have a good weekend, whatever you're doing, uh, and join us again on Monday. We'll see you then. Critically analyzing global affairs. The Muckrakers on today's News Talk, TNT.